Uh, Kingman Kabam Slam, Friday night, $300 prize money. Come on down. Woo. Your feature's Jesse Parent. No, Woo. no new shit, so this is some old shit. Oh, oh shit. shit! Oh, shit! It's called Overheard at Breakfast. She turned and laughed to her friend. What did she eat on my diet this weekend? The friend laughed back, and I turned to look, and you could see it was true. I mean, there we were at a Waffle House. And there she was, fucking with a waffle. Of course, the diet found out about it. That night, she came home, and the diet was strangely silent with her. It scanned the rental listings and pretended to stare at the sports page. Got drunk early. Fell asleep on the couch. The next morning, she opened her eyes in the shower, and she found the diet standing there, staring. So you have to ooze on the curtain. The diet started picking fights with her about nothing. The diet started interrupting her when she was on the phone. Beer bottles started camping out around the television set. She thought later, you know, when the diet finally confronted her, that that would be the worst part of it. But the diet lost control of itself. Diet started trashing her in public. It threw a can of Pepsi One into the bedroom mirror. Mr. Hit by that much. <laughs> Diet started following her to work, sitting for hours in the dark, smoking in the car, mounding bruised butts like a pyramid to betrayal. The diet stayed out one night and wouldn't tell her where she is. And then that afternoon, she found a used Twinkie wrapper on the floorboards in the back seat of Diet's car. Oh, she rolled on the floor in that dirty parking garage. She can't even remember the damn Waffle's name. <laughs> she remembered when she and the diet had started out together, how cute they looked together. She wondered if she and the diet could ever trust each other again. Eventually, they spent some time in counseling. The diet uh, somehow managed to call her bitch 40 times in a 50-minute hour. <laughs> Guy got hammered at the bar. Scrawled her name on a bathroom wall. And then this guy started calling and he wouldn't stop. They had to change their number to get rid of that creep. Somehow, she learned to live like that. It must have been months. The closest the guy had ever came to apologizing was the one morning she woke up to find the diet sitting in bed right beside her. The diet said, You're looking fat. <laughs> And then snuggled up around her and fell asleep in that one certain way she knew was the closest she'd ever come to hearing the words, I care.